Hi guys, it's Kat. Um, I had a couple of people ask me to show you um, the American Crafts glitter tape, which is this tape right here, and also how the Epiphany Crafts um, circle, I think it's called Shape Studio, this thing right here, um, how this works. So I thought I would go ahead and do both in a video real quick. Um, I'm making this card and it's I'm using the PB&J uh, collection from Basic Gray and I just thought I would put a piece of this glitter tape over here and when I do that I thought I might as well do it on camera and show you. So the glitter tape is pretty thick um, and it's real glitter. The glitter doesn't come off. See? And it's just got adhesive, it's already got adhesive on it on the back. Let's see if I can peel this off and show it to you. Let me cut a piece. Hang on. My scissors are there. So you separate the little backing from the tape like this and just peel it off. And then you can stick it on your project. So I'll go ahead and cut a piece and show you how it works. So, let's see, this will probably be long enough. So I'm just going to line it up. Oop, I cut it a little bit too short. I'll have to cover this up with some flowers or something. So anyway, this is the uh, glitter tape. It's really pretty, really shimmery. And since it's got adhesive on the back, it's just, it's perfect. Um, really easy to use. So that is the glitter tape for American Crafts. If you have any questions about it, let me know. It's, um, I really like it. It's really pretty. So then I'll show you the Shape Studio by Epiphany Crafts. It comes with, you have to buy these little, they're like the little acrylic, or the little plastic things that go on bottle caps. And these are some that I've already made, but I'll show you how to make them because it's really, really easy. Let me dump these out. So first, what you do, let me zoom in a little bit. So you slide the paper in, and then you take your little bottle cap, this little plastic thing, and you put it in here where you want it, just slide it in, and then you take this piece, and it just goes right there where the little notches are. You close the lid, and then you punch, and then when you're finished, you have this cute little adhesive backed, of course I can't get the adhesive off right now, but, oh no, it's not got adhesive, does it? Wait, no, it doesn't have adhesive, but it's a little bubble, it's called a bubble cap. So let me make another one, I'll show you how it works again. So we'll use this paper this time. And I wanna make sure that I get some flowers in this one. So let me cut off the edge. Kind of tricky to get in there sometimes. There it goes. Okay. So then you take your bubble cap, slide it in, put this little piece in, close the lid, and punch. And there you go. Then you have a bubble cap. So you, I guess you just put a glue dot or whatever kind of adhesive you want on it. And you've got these cute little bubble caps. Oops, wrong way. So here are some that I've made using the PB&J paper and the Echo Parks dots and stripes. And they're really, they're really fun to use on your projects. I like this little chevron one. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's a tiny, tiny little chevron, see? So I like it because you can use any paper that you want and you can use your scraps and that way you have an embellishment that matches anything that you're working with. So yeah, if you're interested in these, check it out. Um, it's by Epiphany Crafts. Here's the name. And I think you can get them pretty much anywhere online. And this one is the round, if you're wondering which one this is, it's called Round 25. Yeah, Round 20, I don't know if you can see that. You can't see that, but it says round 25, so. 
Okay, guys, well, that's all. I just wanted to share with you the um, glitter tape and the Epiphany Crafts Shape Studio. Uh, I hope that that answers the questions for those of you that asked, and I hope you're having a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so I'm back with the finished card. Just thought I'd show it to you. Um, I added a little tag from Cat Scrappiness that says sending a big thank you, and then I added one of these, um, what did I call those? Bubble caps and three brads up here. And then on the inside, I just put some more of the pattern paper and um, some more of this glitter tape. And I think I'm going to put another tag like this on the inside right here so that I can write my message. So that's my finished card. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.